Bro, you don't understand. Every time I dropped a video or a mention of Mercedes-Benz Select Night in the comment area or in the community board, suggestions, IG posts, everybody was like, yo, yeah, that joint is super fly, but you gotta try Mercedes-Benz Club Black. That shit is fire. Yo, it's probably better, da da da. And I'm like, what? With the car brands, I'm very skeptical. I'm very particular with these joints. Like I have maybe eight. If that, maybe less, maybe six car brand fragrances that are very nice, but just Select Black by Benz is a different level, bro. That joint just hits super different, but when everybody kept like, yo, you think that one is good? You gotta get this one, that one is the... So I went to FragranceNet, picked up Mercedes-Benz Club Black, and let's see if the hype is real. I gotta make sure that the audience is on point with my nose. That being said, Let's see if this is worth the hype. Let's roll my music so we can check out Mercedes Benz Club Black. Blessing morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Shout out to everybody who comments under the videos. I don't get to them a lot. I have two channels. I have multiple posts. It'll be a whole day movie responding and showing love to everybody. So I'll do it on camera. I love all of you, positive, negative, trolls, whatever. I love all of you for taking the time and watching the content. I still love you. And with that being said, I know a lot of you who comment and watch the videos aren't subscribed. So please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. It does help the kid out in the algorithm. Big talk. So we got Mercedes Benz. Men's Club Black. Another one of the fragrances that I went by the audience's suggestions and the multiple suggestions to get to join in the collection without looking up any notes or knowing anything about the scent profile. It's fairly cheap on FragranceNet. It was about 45 dollars something in that space you can probably shop it around and maybe find it cheaper i just wanted quick buy to the point so the presentation of this particular tester piece is pretty lit i'm assuming that all of them look the same this is a tester bottle it does say tester right on the side i love buying testers because they're cheaper i throw all the boxes away anyway so who cares beautiful color hue on the bottle i'm assuming the juice is the same tone kind of looks somewhere like a maybe the little mouse selector that they have in the benzes i don't drive benz i'm a bmw guy myself but benz makes a badass vehicle the pusher right here i like it it's very it's very car essence. I like they're keeping that same energy, right? I didn't look up any notes of the fragrance. We are definitely gonna look it up, but I wanna get the essence, the overall first impressions, that opening that gift on Christmas day. Initial reaction, that's what I love. So let's jump right into this shit and see if this bit, I like how my finger feels in this. It's very like form fitting, it's perfect. This, this is a very good selector here. All right, let's see what the hype is about regarding Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Very nice. Definitely got that Middle Eastern flow. Sweet caramel, amber, vanilla. Very nice. Date night, warm, rich. Nishi style quality too. Very good. This is very good. I feel like there's a little bit of a smoky tobacco essence in here. At least that's what I'm picking up off the test strip. It is actually nice. Wow. A little faint on the test strip. Maybe I have to reapply or respray because it really, maybe I'm missing the spray. That's very good. That is very nice. Mmm, interesting. I am curious about these notes. Definitely vanilla, amber, maybe cinnamon. Very warm, very fall and winter appropriate. This does not have the versatility to be worn in the summer at all, in my opinion, but it absolutely has daytime, sexy, courting, first impressions kind of energy. Let me find out like Mercedes Benz ends up being like the car brand like to go to when it comes to fragrances. Because this is like two for two. Although I've smelled some shitty Benz ones, but these joints, these hit crazy. What is it, the Select Nights or Black or whatever? These are hitting crazy. Let me try this puppy on skin real quick. This is, this is an, Oh, I got something here. All right, let's go here, right next to my little dancer. Let's see what type of energy is doing off of my skin. Ooh, wow. Okay, I can tell you right off rip, it's not performing crazy off the skin, right? But there is a nice smoky, incense -y type energy followed by amber and vanilla off the skin. I didn't pick up much incense anything, if there is incense or whatever smoky in there is, off the test strip, but off the skin. It seems to be the first thing that pops up. It's smoky, vanilla, ooh, ooh, goose pimpies, baby. It's very good, but it doesn't perform very well off of my skin. I know it's just a singular spray. Let's do a, I'll do a three just to, be around where I normally wear it at to see. Yeah, it's kind of light. 
it's a little light on the ass. Still get the incense, still get the vanilla, still get the amber, but it's very close to the skin. Like my skin is really soaking it up very quickly, not really allowing it to just dissipate in the air or really perform and give that beautiful sillage, that nice sex cloud. I don't got that, it's very close. I mean very close, which is kind of disappointing. Like, so I'm getting woody, smoky, vanilla, amber, whatever. A little bit of a rubbery kind of smell, but it doesn't throw me off. It definitely caters to that Middle Eastern type flow. If you were to take a Jubilation 25 kind of DNA and just dilute it a decent amount, bumping up the amber and the incense and reducing the performance to like, I mean, skin. It is a great fragrance. I love all the recommendations. I'm sure to some of y'all, it may have performed very well on your skin. On mine, it's full skin scent. This first impressions on the test strip and the three sprays that I have on the forearm are staying extremely close to the skin. I don't need a ridiculous amount of projection or sillage or a huge scent bubble. That's what you want from a fragrance. That's what the majority of the people want. Me at this point in my life, I'm like, I wanna enjoy something for me too. But in this case, right now, at this first impression moment, I'm not getting much of the enjoyment. I have to like dig into my forearm to really like it. Now, do I like the scent? I love the scent. I think the scent is gorgeous, 1000% up my alley. I can see where the hype is coming from. This is like the merengue or the bachata of a fragrance. Like this is something that for it to be appreciated, you gotta be really close, kinda like real tied up in here so she can just sniff you all around this area cause she's not gonna get your attention from over there cause this is not projecting off the skin. But if you're doing some of this, you know what I'm saying? Like if we, if we, if we right here, like, you Gucci, you definitely gonna get that mm, spin me daddy, you know what I'm saying? But right now it's kinda like, uh, where is it? Where is it? That shit smells good. Very addictive. Let's look up the notes. Aha, uh -huh. Fragrantica says bergamot, incense, jasmine, vanilla, benzoin, woody notes, and ambroxan. I get all of it. Oh, I just saw something that is 100% accurate on Fragrantica, and this is uh, a rare occurrence. What this fragrance smells like, because it did remind me of something 100% accurate. So Mercedes-Benz Club Black definitely resembles Rich, Warm, and Addictive by Zara. This is the original joint. They have a newer one. I don't know if it's called Rich, Warm, and Tobacco or is it? I don't remember. This is an incredible banger that personally has better performance than Mercedes-Benz Club Black. But the scent profiles, definitely very close. The problem is that this original formulation is probably going for a pretty penny on the gray market like an eBay or an offer up because they no longer have this formulation in Zara. This is like the old school one. This is my second bottle of that joint because I doubled up on the time when this came out because the hype on it was extraordinary for a Zara fragrance. So these two fragrances are extremely comparable, but the Rich, Warm, and Addictive definitely has better performance. Mercedes-Benz Club Black, as far as scent profile is concerned, amazing. Love the scent, super sexy, definitely rich, warm, and addictive, but the lack of performance leaves me wanting more, which is something that will cause you to overspray to get that performance anxiety if that's something that's important to you. For me, I'm gonna give this a three quarters of a ball spray. I like the scent a lot, but I know my audience likes a nice projection and sillage. Personal taste, I'd give it a full ball spray. For the audience, three quarters of a ball spray. The scent itself is super banging. Is it better than Mercedes-Benz Select Night? I think they're not even in the same stratosphere. They're two completely scents. There's no redundancy there. There's space for both of them, but the Select Night definitely has way better performance and sillage off the first impressions than this joint, but it's still a ball spray. This is is very good. Let me know your thoughts on Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Does it have better performance off of your skin? Do you find it to be a beast and apparently my skin is just not doing it? Leave it in the comments below and keep sharing a crazy car brand fragrance. Maybe there's others in the space that will blow Mercedes-Benz out of the water. I'll see y'all snitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches. Fresh, who is best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Who buy? For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller, star tag. When it's time to call back. For the rough rugger that raw way. This nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.